In this video, we're going to go over some of the functionality when using the RingCentral application to make a phone call. The first and most important thing you want to do here is make sure you can find where the dial pad is. This is what you're going to use to make your phone call. The dial pad is located in the upper right hand corner and you can see if I hover over it, it says dial pad. This is going to look familiar to you if you're using a cell phone and you can simply type the name or the number in here. Ring Central can be used to call internal contacts or external contacts. If you're calling an internal contact, you can just type in that person's name or their extension. And if you're calling an external contact, you would just type their phone number in here like you would any number when you're making a phone call. So we're going to make an internal phone number just so you can see what it looks like when you're making a phone call. So I'm going to enter the last name here, click on the person from the list, and my call automatically begins. You can see that in the upper left hand corner, it's already started counting up, so I know the phone call is already in progress. If I were to minimize my application here, it would keep the call there. It's not going to disconnect me, and the same thing goes for the mobile app. If I was using the mobile app and I decided to minimize the app for whatever reason or change screens, my call would still go on. So right now, I'm looking at the few options that I have here. The first two here, mute and keypad, are pretty self-explanatory. You can mute yourself so that way the person on the other end can't hear you talking. Keypad will just take you right back to that dial pad. Audio is important here because you can do two things. If we click on it, you can see that you can change the volume of the phone call to make it higher or lower. And you can also change your microphone and speaker source depending on what you're using. Right now I'm using my computer microphone and speaker, but if I was using some sort of headset, I could choose that option here from my microphone source if it wasn't showing up for me automatically. The add option here allows you to take this call and make it a conference call, adding more names and numbers to it. So if I were to click on add, I can internally or externally add a person in here. So it's going to work the same way it did when you initially made the phone call. You can enter in the name or the extension of the person you're looking to merge the call with, or you can enter the full phone number of the person you're looking to add to the call. So if you were to add that name in there, you would choose it from the list and click merge. So if I decided to add my colleague in with this conversation, I could press merge and that would merge this to conference. I'm gonna end that call just for now. And right now my call's on hold, so I'm gonna take it off hold, and then I have, I'm back to my original phone call. And I can add more people onto that conference if I wish by adding in their numbers inside of here, just like I did initially. The video option here is only for internal phone calls. So if what it does is it takes your phone call and converts it from a regular phone call and makes it a video call. This is a useful feature if you find that you're on the phone with somebody and you feel like it would be more useful to have a video conversation, but it's only useful if you're having an internal conversation. This does not work if you have external contacts on the phone call because it's converting it to a video which you can't do with an external call in this capacity. So again, if you're going to use this, it's important to use it only with internal conversations. The more button here has a few options. If you click on here, the hold button will put your call on hold. If you want to transfer your phone call, there are a few things to, to take note of here. So if I click on transfer, I have a few options. You're going to enter the name or number up here and keep in mind, you could only transfer internal conversations. So you can't transfer to an external phone number. So you would enter the person's name or their extension up here in the top, and then you have a few options to look at. If you wanted to transfer directly to that person's voicemail, you would choose to voicemail. The ask first option is going to call the person that you're looking to transfer your call to and let them know who you're sending over to them. The transfer button here that doesn't say ask first just transfers that person over without letting the other person know. In terms of etiquette, it would be best to use the ask first option so that way the person on the other end knows who you're sending over to them. So you can choose whichever one you want, but it's good to know that there are those options for you. You have a record option here as well if you wish to record the call. So you can click on record and that will, that will record this call for you. And I'll show you where you can access those recordings once your call is over. Park and flip are other features that you can use when making a call, but we're not going to cover those in this specific video. So I'm going to press the end call button to end this call. 
And I want to show you here on the left hand side, if I choose phone, I can take a look at all my calls here. I can also see all my missed calls and any call recordings that I may have. One thing you want to keep in mind, if you do have a call recording, they do expire after 90 days. So if you are interested in keeping that phone call, you want to make sure you download it if you don't want to lose it. If you want to access any voicemail that you may get, you can click on all voicemail and you can see that the person who calls you here, you can listen to the voicemail here, and you can also have a few other options here. You can add that person as a contact, you can call them back, you can text them, or you can look at the more options here if you need to delete it, download it, block a number, or mark as read. So those are just some basics in regard to functionality when using Ring Central.